her son was first made known to her as a sense of unease, a need to cry for little reasons, and a metallic tide rising in her mouth each morning. Such signs made her know that she was not alone in her body. She carried him full term, tight up under her heart. She carried him like the poor carry hope. Hope you get a break. Hope one child go to and remember you. He had no father. The, the man she made him with had more like him. He was fair-minded. He treated all his children with equal and unbiased indifference. She raised him twice. Once as mother, then as father. Set no ceiling on what he could be. Doctor, earth healer. Pilot, take wings. But, but now he tells her he is working for you. That you value him so much, you give him one more submachine gun for him alone. He says you're like a father to him. She is wondering what kind of father would give us son hot and exploding death. When he asks him for bread, she went downtown and bought three and one-third yards of black cloth and a deep crowned and veiled hat for the day he draws his bloody salary. She has no power over you and this at the level of earth. What she has are prayers and a mother's tears. And at Nee's city, she uses them. She says psalms for him. She reads psalms for you. She weeps for his soul. Her eye water covers you. She is throwing a partner with Judas Iscariot's mother. The thief on the left hand side of the cross, his mother is the banker. Her draw though is first and last, for she is still throwing two hands as mother and father. She is prepared. She is done. Absalom.